Okay, so one would be if she grabs, from here we bring the fan over, and we set the wrist brake. Okay, another one would be if she comes up to grab, just block and hit. Another one would be to beat a block, you throw the other punch, you block, you throw a punch down, you block, you throw a punch to the head, and you block. So we're doing the same thing as the square. Now if I'm going to use my other hand, if she throws, she can block and hit, hit to the side of the face. If she throws the other punch, yeah, I could block and hit, coming side here, slapping the face and hitting it across and hitting it across. So from in here, from blocking to the outside, I could hit and hit. Let's do it on this side. So if you throw that punch, see, I could block and hit, hit. If she happens to throw that hand there, see, I could block, move the hand around and hit to the side of the face. If she throws that punch again, I could move to the outside. Now if she throws that punch, I could move to the outside, hit, 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 pierce. So again, if she throws one, she throws two, hit, kick it, strikes, okay, to the throw. If she throws a kick, very easy, move to the outside, hit to the face. If she throws the kick again, I move to the inside, hit to the crotch, strike to the side of the face. Now this is with the fan closed. Okay, so now if she hits, again, from in here, I open the fan and punch. Okay, if she hits again, right, open the fan, hit with the fan. Okay? If she's coming in again to grab from in here, see, I move the fan to the outside, kid to the base of the neck. A few techniques for you guys to work on. Thank you.